because of the popping. All right. Hello and welcome to the Summer Fun Show. I'm Super MC Gamer here with co-host The Side Rice. Hello. And we are here with our special guest this week, Lizardoo. Hi. And <laughs> that's adorable. <laughs> and uh, you are the assistant director of Zelda Fun, along with the Silver, and that basically means you help me run Zelda Fun. And whenever I have a problem, I come running. I'm like, Liz, fix. I don't have time for this. Can you please? And you're like, Yes, MC. And I'm like, Liz. I don't have a printer. You have a printer, right? <laughs> and you're like, yes, MC. I'm like, please print the things. And then you print the things. I'm still trying to... I, I can't remember if I, I still have my printer or not, but I never got ink for it. I don't even remember why I found this printer, but it was like early 2000s, and I was too lazy to find ink, so I had this defunct printer. It was when I lived here. I oh, I, I think I might have left it here. Yeah, you probably it was like did. A beige color. It's, it's <laughs> like, a yeah. like a Super Nintendo. Like a Super Nintendo that saw too much. Like uh, it was in a yes. smoker's house for yes. too long. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I can't even remember where I got that. I think I got it from the free money. store at the college. The Early two thousands printer. So is it the size of a car trunk? <laughs> kind of. <laughs> kind of. Uh, yeah, Steenus is. Uh, Mentioning inside the chat, this is the last Zelophon show before Zelophon Hope, which is a momentous occasion to be sure. Um, Zelophon Hope is starting on Sunday, which is like four days away or three? Three. Oh my god. <laughs> so essentially, no, I don't know four because it's the 23rd. Right, right. So well, I guess. Yeah, we, four days. Technically, we have until midnight. I guess. And then, then it'll be three days. Oh my goodness. Yeah, today's the 23rd. Um. Do you want to know why I wanted to be on the show today? Why is that? Because 23 is number one. Ah! Ah! That is relevant to this game. <laughs> yes. <laughs> because this is a video game made by Nintendo, which was founded in the year uh, 2301. Wow, that's if you didn't know. In, did in you the know that? Did, did, did you know? Did did you know? Now you know. <laughs> did you know did ants you know can't gaming? drink milk? Really? I don't know. Uh -oh. I was <laughs> say, how do you know that? I don't know. All right, fair enough. Uh, before we get too far into things, we have to give some thanks to like a bajillion subscribers who subscribed last week. I uh, 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 I mean, I'm I'm gonna downsize that to it's approximately 33. Bajillion's a little bit of an overestimate. You're correct. So I was. Um, didn't stream at all this past week because I've been working on Zelda-thon, and so we had 33 people resub since our last zelda show, including Abra for 31, Frosty for uh, 6, Steenus for 31, actually you want to do one list? Go for it. It's, it's, it's this one here. Oh my god, you sub baby. <laughs> yeah, program ninja for 9 months. It's a sub baby. What shall we name the child? Hopefully it's Hype. not- Hype. <laughs> uh, Orma Shields for 7. That's a good idea. Oh, yay. <laughs> uh, show fixed Tanaka for six months. Nailed it. Oh, wow. I thought I was going to say this one. And Marissa for three. Marish Kebab. It's, it's, it's our good friend Marish Marissa. Which I, have, I, I really, really enjoy that, that Twitch name. Uh, like, it's, it's, it's funny. Marissa has like a bunch of different names. Like on Twitter, she's at MMD Flute. And on tw Twitch, she's Marish Kebab. And the best part is, she just goes by Marissa. <laughs> She's like, ah, whatever. Ah, yeah, screw all the fancy names. I'll name it Hope Ninja. So the name of our child is Hope Ninja. Very good program, Ninja. Fair enough. Oh, I get it. I'm still calling it Hype. I'm still... It's a nickname. Yeah. Now, my friends, uh, so this is all fun show. We're going to do a lot of, like, answer your questions. So if we get that posted in the chat, the document for that. Um, we're going to talk to Liz about that way. some things. Oops, that is not... How you play this I game. had to figure out my orientation with my screen. And, uh, but one thing that we want to do is we want to raise some money for Zelda Fawn tonight. Yes. Uh, so I can't see our total right now, but now I can. $12,181, which means we have a little over $800 to raise until we unlock, um... Hyrule Warriors. Hyrule, yeah. Hyrule Warriors for Zelda Fawn Hope. Which means if we unlock this, which is less than $800 away, the marathon's starting length goes from, like, 9 hours to, like, 16 hours. So, if you want to do that, this is pretty much going to be your last chance for that, because uh, I'm not streaming after this until Zelda Fawn, uh Countdown stream starts. Yeah. And a lot of our Zelda Fawn team members won't be streaming because they're going to be traveling to Zelda Fawn, so they're going to be in cars might. and planes. You might. I might. Do you, I have, do you have the stuff for it? I, I do have... Uh, what do you mean? Yeah. <laughs> the donate now button? 
I actually don't. Yeah, see. I, I have nothing <laughs> related to Zelda Fun on my Twitch channel at all. I need to get on that. I need to redesign all of this. That's from like two years ago. Yo, thank you, Venom Sprite, for trying some, my friend. Ooh. That is three sub babies. Oh my! You did the math. I, I didn't. So, uh, uh, how, welcome to triplets. Liz, oh you have three children. What's it like having three children? Hard. <laughs> so, there Venom, you have it, folks. Venom Sprite, your life, as it, as it turns out, is now hard. Hard mode activated. <laughs> but fun. But fun. There you go. Are you, are you trying to skip? I'm trying, but I'm really bad because I can't see the television, so I can't see like visual cues. Oh, oh we almost, almost got through there. <laughs> Is Zelda Fun located on still on the moon? We actually tr a trans, you know, trans spatially moved to Mars. I completely <laughs> derped that word. I don't even know what I was trying to say. We moved to Mars. Actually, Liz, tell us the story of Alex's old nickname as Zelda Fun. What was my what? The guy who got thrown out the window? No, uh, the derp. Oh, oh derp! <laughs> we, we stopped calling him, calling him that, because Alex doesn't deserve that. Nobody deserves to be called a derp. But it was because Alex did stuff like that, where... He... Yeah. Transpit. <laughs> Shut up, Teep. And then we had the derp bell. Uh, <laughs> Transpatially moved. That lasted, I think, a marathon? It lasted several marathons. Yeah. We, we had a bell at Zoltafon where we'd ring it every time somebody did something stupid. Eventually, the kitty started banging it with its chin. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, there we go. I'm in. There you go. All right, let's get rid of this that guy. That didn't take forever at all. Hey, I'm, I gotta get rid of this guy. Hold on. Hey, guy. You should just get out of here. Oh, oh, oh. Let's even just get rid of him. All right. <laughs> He's out of here. Why do you believe me? <laughs> yeah. All right. That's almost scientifically... Would you go away? What? Are you, are you talking it's the bushel? scientifically ad valid. I don't know whether to believe him or not. That transpatially, that's almost scientific. But but I did see Mark Watney the other day, and he's still okay. Who? It's it's a it's a joke. It, if you've read the book The Martian or seen the movie, you know who that is. Oh. Um. Uh, so, anyways, let's get into let's get into some stuff with Liz. Liz, you first need to tell us about your your first Zolophon. How you got involved with this wonderful Zolophon team? And by the way, thanks Zach for two months as well. <laughs> uh, let's see. Ooh. It all began when. I <laughs> oh wait, that oh, was twenty bucks from. Sorry, you, one that, second. Yeah, twenty dollars from. Imagine hold on, but wait, there's more. Oh, <laughs> there is more. Uh, How about that? All right. Imaginary bread donated twenty dollars. Who says? Hope. <laughs> this helps us reach our goal. <laughs> and read this one for us, Alex. Mike's nemesis donated uh, $8.67 saying, Hashtag Team Fixers, let's start this donation raising train. Good, and by the way, we do have the goal wheel here, so uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lower I'm gonna lower it. Goal We're going to go $25 tonight as a special. Let's get to that uh, that, uh, that goal uh, offer. I'm building the goal wheel. Maybe. So $25 to the charity, and we'll give that wheel a good old spin of fun and, and, and craziness. Only seven or nine dollars to go, things. so get your get your $25 in. <laughs> Or a little bit less if you can't afford it, that's cool too. Or more if you can't afford that, because hey, we're good. Hi, Billy Mays here with a new product, Donations! And also, by the way, imagine you're ready to subscribe for, to, uh, to the channel, so thank you very much. Yay! <laughs> okay, now that we've gone all that out of the way, and, and said thank you, and because we appreciate it, Liz! Go! Zelda So, it was <laughs> the December of Zeldathon ADA, American Diabetes Association. Zelda 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 Marathon 3, wow. Marathon 3. Yeah, it really was. What are we on now? 15. 15. Gee. <laughs> wow, it's My husband out. Andy had to go pick up derp sauce here from derp. It's Marathon. like vine sauce because of his hair, but now he's derp sauce. <laughs> and instead of just picking him up and taking him home, he ended up staying for a while. And that was back on, what, Ustream? Yeah, that was the only Ustream. We were still in Ustream at that point. Twitch wasn't a thing. That's right. We were like, we were like first wow. on Twitch. That was before just first on week. Twitch. First. Uh, so I watched in chat. That was my first marathon in chat, watching. Um, uh, my chat name was Fondue for You. Really? <laughs> I didn't know that one. Fondue. <laughs> Because Why do you not on... have that anymore? That is fantastic. Because uh, do you want people to walk around calling her fondue? Yes. I don't. I'm going to call you fondue from now on. Fondue is fun for you. <laughs> Just call you cheesehead. No. No. Okay. That's yeah, shadow. that doesn't work. Yeah. Shadow. 
Fondue for you. Fondue for you, yes. Uh, <laughs> but the reason why that was my name was because it was the winter Zeldathon, so it was taking place over the course of my anniversary. My oh, wedding right. anniversary, as Oops. usual. <laughs> so he was there on our anniversary. Um, Which was your fifth anniversary, too. <laughs> Your fifth anniversary of getting married. Oh. Uh, and we had a tradition back then of having fondue every year on our anniversary. I should bring that back. Okay, fair enough. So, it was the only thing I could think of at the time. The nickname Lizardoo actually came from my brother-in-law, Matthew. Uh, one of see, that makes sense. One I've of his nicknames for me. Uh, by the way, we have a $2.31 cent, or no, oh, sorry, $2.21 cent donation from Luke the Spoo saying hashtag Team Poundrome, and then $25 from Fairnox says, help, I'm all alone in the guardhouse of an abandoned soda plant. <laughs> what? <laughs> that is very oddly specifically. Fairnox? Wow. We can't... I'm, my words tonight are places I'm not here. Fairnox, we can't save you from the soda plant. But we can thank you for the donation, so thank you. And I believe that that merits a go wheel. Yeah. And then we then we'll continue what happened after Zelthon ADA, where fondue for you. You want to spin? You want to spin? Okay. Oh, oh spin. yeah. Get, get. I have the guest. Let me spin. Whoa. Off she go. Uh. I love the missing peg. What does that say? It says, Steel Tingles Magic Words. All right, here we go then. <laughs> wait for that to Whoa, <coughs> wait, 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 wait. Oh, uh, I can't reach it. You've got to knock over Link up there. Yeah, well, he he's, he's fine. Rocking a little bit. Yeah, he's <laughs> All right, here we go. In three, two, wait, hold Let me find a, hold on, I got to find a path. Hold on, I'm dying here. I got I to gotta get out of this, this, this crazy town. All right, on the Elbuck Road. We're, we're safe now. All right, here we go. Tingle! Tingle! Tingle. Cool! Ah. Bah. There you go. That was for you, Fairnox. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, let, let's go back to the story where last time on the Lizardu story, she was the fond, fondue for fun. Fondue for you. Fondue for you. <laughs> Close enough. Nailed it. And... Oh my gosh, we'll read that in just a moment. I want to hear the rest of the story before, before, before things go on too long here. So that was the first one in chat. Yeah. Uh, the first one in person was, was it the next one after? Was it, was Red Cross after? No, it was Quest. Okay. Quest was, Quest happened next, and... I didn't participate. You, you did not participate, but Andy was a full-on... Uh, member at that point and he that's was that's when we did our race <laughs> yeah that's oh my god uh, um, shut up <laughs> i am salty you will have your comeuppance comeuppance I, I will have my just reward you will have your spanking uh, oh. <laughs> i didn't realize this was part of the race <laughs> oh god anywho uh so the next zelda -thon, um american red cross american red cross right Needed a, you guys needed a new location. Because basically during Quest, I was like, hey, Andy, we need a new place. And Andy was like, I have a house. <laughs> and I was, Just volunteered. And I was like, okay, well, maybe we should go check it out. And I made Triforce cookies, and they came to my house, and I didn't talk to them. But I smiled, <laughs> and I gave them cookies. Because we went, we came in and did a tour of your of your... And uh, they recorded it. And we recorded the tour of your house. I think the footage still exists somewhere. Mm -hmm. Yep. And... <laughs> yeah, I was like, don't worry, guys. She's cool, and you're awkward. They were awkward. And I'm, like, in the corner just kind of... Just humming along. Yeah, and I was, you know, just at home, and you guys are all like... Hey, yeah, it was, me, it was me, Numbers, and, and, and Andy was there. He was playing Assassin's mm -hmm. Creed at the time. Yep. And so you just, you just kind of were in the corner. By the way, my name is apparently four inside this file. Yeah. <laughs> Whoops. Oops. Um, I have a house. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much how early, early Zeldathon venue finding was. Mm -hmm. And so we came to... I, I, how did ARC even go for you? I, I don't really remember ARC that much. I s probably spent most of it in the back half of the house watching VHS... Watching Disney VHSs with the kids and practicing 
Link to the Past. Did you play Link to the Past, that Maybe. man? Maybe. I don't. Th I don't know if I you did. Could not tell you for the life of me. Uh, uh, we don't have much footage of ARC around. It was our first on Twitch, um, but we do have some was, footage. Was that the seven day one? No, that that that, that was, was our four day one. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Child Child Play was our seven day marathon. Right. That was. You know. That was rough. <laughs> you know, everybody keeps saying it's rough, but now we kind of do six day. And yeah. I mean, well, now we have more people, and we're we can not do all seven up day. for like, you know, crazy amounts of time and sleeping. When uh, Z when Zelda Wii U yeah when Zelda Wii U comes out I think we're gonna have to oh my god I keep trying to well, I bet, I bet I'm gonna figure out something here can I like remap this can I like remap R I want I want this button to be R I want this to be R thank you have a good day fancy well let's see huh. But I probably spent a couple marathons like that in the back with the kids watching VHS and practicing Link to the Past. But you did eventually come and play Link to the Past, which was fun. Yeah. And that was our next point, so you, we pretty much nailed it. And you became Transition. you became like the Link to the Past player for every marathon since then, including Zelda Fun Hope. It's gonna be fun. Yeah. You seem unsure of yourself you're, with that. I'm much always fun. unsure of myself. You do fine every year. The only thing was, is you died a Ganon. You, you like, you, like, destroy the game, and then you get to Gan, and then you die once, and then you destroy him on your second one. To be fair, that is a decently hard fight, from what I've seen. Oh no, did I not talk to Malin twice? Fricker. <laughs> I'm off to go see the guards. The legend of Lake Tide Pass. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, it's hard to play and talk at the same time. It's not like this is like what I do all the time. Yeah, I mean, it's not like, you know, I just... Yeah, every day. <laughs> <laughs> he got me. <laughs> he walked in the circle. It would have been easier to turn right, but he can't turn right. <laughs> Has to turn up. Yes. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. In so, by the way, Bushel donated uh, one dollar and says, "See, Alex, you might not believe my scientific allegations, but I donated to charity, so I win." Like all my other donations, this goes towards Trump 2016 for the Wind Waker HD file name. Oh boy. Which I believe puts it up to $3 total donated, all by him. Darn, I, I think it might win. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when did Liz begin doing 100% runs every time? I think I pretty much always did because I have OCD. Uh, and you want to get everything. Yeah, I've actually cut down the amount of stuff that I do in my runs. Uh, when I first started playing The Link to the Past for Zeldathon, what I thought 100% run meant, because OCD meant you destroy every pot, you open every chest, you explore every single <laughs> section of the map in every single dungeon, and that is it. That's what you do. That's what you have to do. But no. Luckily not, or else Zeldathon would take forever if we did 100% runs. Yeah. Then I started reading Speedrun's archive. Demos archive, yeah. And getting tips. Getting good tips and tricks. Hot tips. Demo like like tips. the uh, like the good old uh, what's it called? Old threes. What's it called? The game pack. And the, it's I think it's in Ganon's Tower. You do a like a, a dash into like a wall and it bounces you off to another section. Mm -hmm. yeah. I like it's, it's such a simple trick and it's so easy and it saves some time. So. <laughs> Bushel says, as an adamant Bernie Sanders supporter, donate for Trump 2016 for something like HD. That, that's why Zach is a unique fellow and part of our team. Yep. Ustream days. I See, I don't ever recall actually being on Ustream, but I remember those marathons. Marathons. Yeah, I, I mean, the stream surfs at that time it was kind of... It was pretty bad. It was... Oh my gosh, Twitch has like... I'm, I, I kind of want to see the layout that we had. What did we use to stream? Uh, we used uh, the precursor to XSplit, VH Multicam Studio. <laughs> it, it later got renamed to XSplit. Really? Yep. Yeah, uh, okay, and we, so we've technically always used We've XSplit. always used XSplit, and that's why I'm such an adamant supporter of the software, because it's never, never let us down, even when it crashed occasionally during uh, the last marathon. Uh, so I, 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 I'll, I'll sh share some good news on that, folks. So during uh, all the testing for uh, setting up XSplit for this marathon, there's not been a single crash. Which is different than last marathon where we experienced crashes. That's my stool. <laughs> <laughs> it's the closest wooden thing around. Oh, yo, Venom Strike Hi. coming through with 666 saying Trump 2016, 
Seems like the perfect time to donate. <laughs> oh, God. I see what you did there. What did you do, Teep? No, he donated 666. Oh, fair enough. Okay. Get it? it yeah. it's, it's the... Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Well, what's our donation total, by the way, right now? sign of the white devil. The white devil? <laughs> We are we're up at to twelve thousand two hundred and forty four point a little seven. A little over seven fifty to go, folks. Let's get this. Uh, Bam. We can do we can do this. I mean come on. Um Oh yeah, how did you become assistant director? How how did this become a thing? Uh I think you asked me to do a few things and then you just basically named me assistant director and I flailed a lot. <laughs> Congratulations, you're promoted. Like, Whoa! when you when you when you have people do a lot of work for you, it makes them feel good if you give them a title. And like, then with that title, <laughs> hold, no, hold, <laughs> no, no, hold on, I wasn't finished. Let me finish. Let me finish, Liz. <laughs> and once you have a title, all of a sudden I start realizing that means you have a job, and I can give you more work. That you can do very well. Yay. Good. And so the title may start Good. as like a, as a like what's it called? Not a placebo, but something like that. <laughs> but it you were just digging a hole deeper and deeper here. It becomes real over time. It goes from like you're helping me have a title to you have a title help me. Now wa watch this here. Sweetest chocolate. So yes. you usually need both boxes pushed to do this, but you don't. Oh, wow. Why did I never think of that? And the thing is, if you come out, the both boxes are stacked again properly. Really? Yep. Okay, I need oh, to try to do a lazy. thing. See you later, guards! Uh, I'm excited for chocolate. I wonder if I can get past all the guards like this. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh my god, are you actually going to be able to pull this off? Ha <laughs> 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 ha! Never oh, no! mind the screaming kid that just passed you. Oh, wait, wait, wait until he looks the other way. Right, right. Oh, wait, hold on. And then... Ha ha! <laughs> We're through! Oh my god, it's perfect. I can get through here. <laughs> oh my god, what a good uh, courtyard. I'm so happy. Dude, that's like pro strats. This is to earn! <laughs> here I come, Zelda! <laughs> <laughs> Speed ran! I, lo I love creeping up on Zelda and like, not actually like, approaching her properly. Just being like... Just approach through the water. Can you wait? Oh, I was gonna say, does that trigger the cutscene? No, nope. that'd be funny. Or if you back <laughs> the cutscene starts and you see Link just. I, w I wish we like jump slash like into the cutscene like just perfectly, you know? Well, I mean, and and I've noticed this in a lot of Bioware Bioware games where there's conversations happening. If your characters are like on auto walk when you start the conversation, your character will keep walking sometimes, mm -hmm. and so the person talking to you will just like you're walking onto their desk and they're like, "Yeah, I don't see why this is a problem. You know, I'm still talking to you." And then you like instantly zip back to where you're supposed to be. Oh wait, I forgot her triggers actually have speak, oh. so you can just like maybe <laughs> completely oblivious. She's looking at the things within. For example, she you know what she could be looking at? Mario. Bowser and Luigi. <laughs> and, and Mario's over here. So, do you remember when you guys broke Mary. my toilet? <laughs> oh, do we, do we want to bring up breaking your toilet? Let's, Which time? Let's talk about breaking Did your toilet. Twice? No. I feel like we, we it almost happened twice. It almost broke the first time, then it really broke the second time. Oh, that's time. right. Okay, yeah. And that was a hundred dollar fix. <laughs> tell, tell us about Sorry. that. Did just like was it just Zelophon in general? Yeah, just yeah. Well, like fifteen the sheer volume people of people using, using it. one toilet for many many days. And what did that result in for Ultimate Zelophon? <laughs> a porta potty. <laughs> <laughs> this porta potty was the worst idea Zelophon has oh ever had God. in the existence of Zelophon <laughs> because, because it was in the middle of the summer. Not only that, but it wasn't. Perfectly level. <laughs> so when you got into the porta potty, yeah, you're always Things afraid rocked. that if you if you take one misstep, the entire porta potty's tipping over. <laughs> it, it was like the most horrible TARDIS in the world. That porta potty. <laughs> the yeah. TARDIS. The, the, the TARDIS. TARDIS. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> Imaginary bread, by the way, donated uh, awesome. a dollar earlier and said. 
Because Bushel told me to. <laughs> Trump does his favorite win the Wind Waker. Oh, boy. And Frosty donates a dollar and says, Good evening, Zolophon Show co-hosts and special guests. Fondue for you. I come bearing good news. Trump oh, 2016. Oh, God. Can we get some donations for Bacon79 to offset this, by the way? That... I'm still voting for Tofu. <laughs> the Turtis. <laughs> That's wonderful. I once drank a congealed mass of Kool-Aid. This is true. And you're going to do it again. <laughs> well, I mean, the... And the uh, the porta potty, you know, it's sitting outside in the middle of July, in a very warm, humid part of the country. So with twenty zolophoners who have been eating horrible food, the, the smug got a little dank. I'm not gonna lie. It, it like dank. The, like the, the diets have never been good at zolophon, but that does transition us perfectly in the next conversation, which is one of Liz's duties as. <laughs> as assistant director, is helping organize the food for the marathon because we have a lot of people to feed and not all places are open 24-7 around where our marathon is on Mars. In fact, there are no food places on Mars because it's only us up there. And some people have very strict dietary restrictions. Oh yeah, that too. Now, Liz's job these past few marathons has been to get us food. Yeah. Can you tell us more about the places that you've contacted and how it went about telling them that we have 50 people who need food? Not scene. well. Not well? Yeah. I mean, Sheets has been very generous in the past. They've given us... Cookies. Big boxes of cookies and gobs. Oh my gobs. gosh, too many cookies and gobs. All frozen, all in my van, all sliding about. <laughs> that were, was fun. Were they in there like a long time? No, they were still frozen by the time we got to the hotel. That was just past summer. Feed me. Uh, oh, talk about what Kings did the one there, <laughs> yeah, what, what? Frownies? The frownies. Talk the about the frownies. frownies. The, the angry mob. The gigantic pan of leftover frownies that they gave us. It was an unassembled angry mob. Like So they're, they're brownies, uh, for those who don't know. But they were in sheet pans about... Yay big? Sheet pants. Yeah, nice. like they, they, were, they were big pans. Ah. And there were two of them with the promise that if we went in there, we could get more. Mm -hmm. Hey, Cobot woke up. But we ate them all, and then we did not want to go back and get more. <laughs> Die of fetus. It almost reminds <laughs> me of one of the foods that we got, that same marathon. What was it that, like, the potato salad? Yeah, Wasn't it? Teep just yeah. mentioned the potato, potato oh, salad. Oh, yeah. Teep was mentioning, the, or Zach's mentioning the potato salad. They're not doing salad. frownies anymore? What does the world come to? Correct. They have been discontinued. They're under new management. They don't do donations. They've changed their menu. They don't do what brownies. What happened to you, Kings? I liked your breakfast food. So, they got now I'm going to Perkins. They Who gave us five. that potato salad, by the way? That was, um... Seven, no. Uh, they the 1776. Were they? Yep. Okay. So, that was 1776. So this uh, restaurant gives us a huge thing of potato salad. Again, yay big. You know, it's a huge pan. And the problem with it is... Only Zach ate a little bit of it, and it got all moldy and disgusting. Well, probably the thing is, potato salad's supposed to be refrigerated. It's got mayonnaise in it. Yeah. You don't had... want mayonnaise unrefrigerated. It's egg and dairy. Mm -hmm. It became moldy very quickly. It and they just... called me in because they didn't know what the heck to do with it because we had to return the empty trays to the <laughs> restaurant. They had to have the trays back, and everybody was like, just... Crap. Throw them away and tell them we'll pay for them. No, I have to give them back. So Empty. I opened up the extremely fuzzy potato salad and dumped it into the ov already overflowing garbage. Oh. And returned the stanky trays, and that was fun. Yeah. And and fun is a subjective word. <laughs> where, where it means not fun, fun at all. Backslash ass. And so for this marathon, uh, we're not getting a lot of like rest. We're not like, do we have any restaurants? We're not doing any restaurants, right? We're not doing any restaurants this time around, but instead, we're going on a mass shopping trip where I have $200 of uh, attendance fee money, which uh, everybody gives, except for Alex. Alex doesn't give attendance fee money at all. So. Oh my god, it's in his crotch. <laughs> it's dirty money, there, you don't want it. Now I have to touch it. All right. So. Whoa. Ooh, damn bills. <laughs> Take it. Take it all. 
So Alex just paid his attendance fee. <laughs> So let's see what we got here. There's some ones here. One, <laughs> two, <laughs> three, four, five, ten, thirty, fifty. It's all there. This is one it. Zelophon attendance fee, Alex. Congratulations. The day is the 23rd. You are 13 days late after the due date. And for that, you will be fined $13. I always, I always pay it <laughs> on setup day. But I'm not going to be there setup day, so I can't pay it on setup day, so I figured today would be better. Thank you, I appreciate you giving me that. So with that type of money, we buy equipment, and for example, we're giving Liz $250 so she can go to Walmart or other such store, Aldi's perhaps, and buy mass amounts of food for the Zelophon team. Do we That's have, the hope. Do we have any like anything planned yet? Any goodies? Some meals? Yeah, like what do we got? Uh, <laughs> if Montana still says no, they're supposed to have a manager meeting sometime in the next couple of days and get back to me, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, but if they don't, then I'm going to do my own Montana-style potato bar uh, and a taco bar. A taco bar? Yes. Mm -hmm. That's going to be a mess. Else. We're going to have a mess of taco bar. We always have a taco bar. But it's, it's easy. It is easy. But people are going to make messes with their tacos. They always do. Yep. Venom Stray42 comes in with holy 8168. <laughs> saying, there, this will tie Bacon for the lead. Anarchy. Wait a minute. Did that uh, did that tie it with... Hold on, I gotta go to Zelfon.net. Where's Fricker? There it is. Hold so on. So wait, was that for Trump? I don't know. And oh dear God. No, I think that was, that was, for, that was for Bacon. I gotta go check okay. at Zelfon.net slash donate. Holy notifications. Mm, that's not very many. I usually wake up in the morning with my entire bar filled. So yeah, just I a final name? Like two. It's Aren't like I? Facebook um, and Twitter. <laughs> and maybe Snapchat. Okay, The Wind Waker. The Wind Waker file name, let's see. Currently tied with... Oh my god, no, it did go to Trump 2016. Oh boy. Bacon 79 and Trump 2016 are now tied for top place on The Wind Waker. Chief, what did you do? If you make me play the final game of Zelomon Hope as Trump. Banned. <laughs> Banned. Banned. You and your hair. <laughs> no, we won't, we, won't, we won't ban him. And his hair is quite good. The man bun, it works for him. The man bun does work. <laughs> so we will, we will, um, but he, uh, there might be some donation goals involving that, but we'll talk about that later. Shh, shh, shh. Um, but, but no, now Baker 79 is now tied. And now it's ahead. And now, and now it's ahead. The, the... Teep, I'm gonna murder you. D don't murder the boy. D Tronald Dump. <laughs> donates one dollar and says we here at the totally not donald trump foundation would like to preemptively thank you for putting your name this name in your end credits mc sign definitely not donald trump <laughs> and uh we by the way are at twelve thousand three hundred twenty nine dollars which means we are six hundred oh it just went up six hundred and sixty six sixty six ish dollars so six, six, donate six. satan so, uh, <laughs> we had $5 from Agent Wall says, shut up and take my money, and a dollar from Dark K saying, down with Trump, bacon will thrive. Well, your $1 is good, but... That, again, ties it up. <laughs> I, no, I think I think Trump is actually told him to leave. <laughs> Are we doing Q&A tonight? Uh, yes, we got 20 more minutes of asking questions, and then we will get to your uh, to your questions. So, if somebody could do plus ask inside the chat. Keep asking questions. You can ask them to me or Alex, or to our special guest Liz. Liz might not be on the show for a while after this, because we're going to have... Try to get as many guests in there as we can. Yeah. It's okay, Liz. Also, we'll, we'll Team does back. kind of look like a, you know, like a revolutionary-era leader. He is a revolutionary well, leader. I, well, he's not this James is, K. Polk, but he, this, was, no, this, he wasn't alive at that point. This is the, he's, a, the, he's the revolution of our, our hearts. Ah. Now, He's the Roy Volution. But like with the with Roy the Volution, man. the Roy Volutionary War Leader. Oh my God, it's so oh right. Well, I mean, with the man bun and the mutton Carson! chops he's got, he he looks like you know. To, oh, twenty. For oh. MC Team Bacon, thank you, Carson. By the way, that eighty-one was also a spin. So we got two of these too. Oh. <laughs> Figure out of the way. Oh. Action burn. I was gonna say something to you, Zach, but I forget what I was gonna say. Oh well. 
Oh, Zack! Esports commentary. Oh. <laughs> Alright, you guys, can you give me some esports commentary on what's currently going on in the game? And he's um. rolling. <laughs> <laughs> and he's rolling! Alright, looks like we're headed up to the next part of this game. It's gonna be a tough little, uh, little segment here. Let's see if he can pull it off. It may be fruitful, it may come back and bite him in the butt. Oh, looks like his, his aim is a little off tonight. We, we talked to him pre-game and he said that his hands are not quite 100% today, so that could be a factor. Looks like we may have a game glitch here. Uh, well, we're gonna go to our tech experts here. Uh, Liz? Yes, it does appear this is a game glitch, and we're going to have to see to this. It could be a tr uh, controller malfunction. What is going on? Did he just walk up slowly at tree? <laughs> <laughs> he did, though. He really did, though. Esports commentary is escalator, actually Escalator, 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 escalator. Esports e commentary is easy. And here we are inside Kakariko Stadium for tonight's excellent Ocarina of Time match between Super MC Gamer and The Guard. Who will win? Let's find out right now. There seems to be a standoff. We're just going to have to be going to a best oh, of five. Oh, well, oh, this, we, we have a cuckoo in the mix here. This <laughs> we could gotta, change we everything. <laughs> we got a cuckoo. If he's not careful here, this could ruin the whole run for him. It, it really couldn't, but... <laughs> Let's collect some cuckoos. We'll just have to wait and watch and wait for this to take flight. Wait and watch and wait. Wait and watch and wait. <laughs> wait and watch and wait for this Waiting to take flight. Waiting is so important we have to say it twice. We gotta wait and watch and wait. Wait, what? <laughs> just, wait just, just like Brawl. <laughs> uh, so can we get a spin? Yes. We got one more spin to do here. Oh, I just realized... Okay. Oh yeah. my god, somebody's gonna have a finger taken off. That's why we went to digital dual wheel. Idea to turn the cards around the other way. <laughs> they would fly everywhere. Money making game. Oh my gosh, it's time for money making game? Oh boy, I don't know how this works. I've actually never been present for a money making game. Well, okay, um. We'll do money making game. Um. Do you, do you know where the rest of the cuckoos are? Vaguely. I can. I'll, I'll let you know. Okay, so, <laughs> so, so there's one there. There's one on the other side of that fence. You get to it by right. taking that cuckoo. And jumping over using that fence. And then throwing Cuckoo back over. This is a letter from Zelda. You don't use that. I can figure it out. Give me a controller. Okay, here's the controller. I'm going to get money-making game. <sighs> Lameo how? Don't worry, I planned for this. Come here. I can't see. Oh, there I'm we go. I'm sorry. What are you doing? I'm getting ready for money-making game. Fair enough. What's this paper? Oh, this is just... Something very important to me. Nope, that was wrong. I derped. I just, I, I was saying, going to say the uh, Smite World Championships is coming up in, I believe, a month or two? I don't, they did it in November last year, but it, it's past November and they haven't done it yet. Why am I not going over the stupid fence? What am I doing? Oh, wait, okay, I'm done. You're doing it wrong! I am doing it wrong, I feel stupid. Back in the olden Hi. days of Zeldathon. When we didn't have a ton of attendees, I always, always had the same nightmare before every marathon. Oh, come on! Where... What am I doing? I would wake up in the morning and go out in the living room or and whichever room would be and dead. everybody would be dead asleep and the chat freaking out. <laughs> same dream every time. I don't have it anymore. That usually happened during my Majora's Mask run. I'm see asleep on his keyboard. Oh, hey, I did Silver it! Silver controller in hand. Go that way. The girl's sleeping on the back couch. Come here, Cuckoo. Come here. There we go. Okay. Don't fall in the hole. I see cups. All right, folks. This is a little bit uh, wacky to do without, wacky to do. without anything proper here, but everybody, let us play! Money making game. So we have three cups: red, blue, and green. Or oh, here they are. I'm going to do the following. 
People love Majora's Mask, but it would run into the early hours of the morning and everyone would fall asleep. Oh, I can't do it. <laughs> Including me, the guy playing. Okay, so, in these cups are three amounts. Uh, and basically, how it's going to work is you're going to donate now with um, money, obviously, and put it towards the cup green, cup blue, or cup red. Whichever cup hits the most in the next 15 minutes will receive the bonus that's within the cup. Um, so I did randomize these, so I, I, if I look inside the cups, I'll know because they're face up right now. But I'm not going to look inside the cups. Instead, we're just going to have Liz hold them. Here's blue. Here's green. Here's red. There you Money go. Money making game. So it's a little bit of a derpy way to do it because we're not at Zolophon. We don't have enough room. But we have blue, green, and red. Why can't I hold all these cups? So everybody, please donate now and we'll see what we can get. Let us play Money Making Game. And Stenus, if you could keep track of them for me, I would be very appreciative. So I'm missing one. Where am I missing one? I will get the other cuckoo for you. Where is it? Is it did you get the one over there? I did. Where did you put it? In the fence. Okay, I know where the last one is. And I put the other one roaming around. Whoa. Just tell me where it is. You, you need another cuckoo. Do you need to go back over to the other side? Okay. Nice color uh, color coordinating. No, that was just what cups were inside the the, uh, the kitchen. You are free. Run. Come here. And again, you can donate to help hope live at zolophon.net slash donate. Oh my god, you freaking chicken. Come here. Hey, here comes our first donation. It's imaginary bread with one dollar saying, I vote for cup anti-purple, also known as green. And then $5 from Mike's Nemesis saying cup blue. So the cup blue is currently in the lead with five. Where, where is the chicken over here? It's up the ladder. Oh, gotcha. Okay. So you need to throw that other one over yeah. first. I haven't played this game forever. I need to brush up on my Ocarina of Time if I'm going to beat Andy in the race next year. Next year. Next year. Next time on Zeldathon. Thank you, Steve, for po posting that. Poor Cup Red has not received a single donation. There he is. Come here. Merry Christmas from Germany. Thank you very much. Oh, it, is, it is Christmas in Germany. No, Already? it's not. No, no it's, it's not. not. <laughs> Actually, it's Christmas Eve in Germany. The, they talk about, um, don't they like have Christmas on the 24th in like, some portions of Europe? That's different. Yeah. I did the thing! Tyler the Dragon... What? No, I didn't. Talk to the lady. Oh. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> I was like, wait, I did the thing. It didn't make a noise. Can I play the game now? Hooray! No. Okay. I got the thing! In Germany, you celebrate Christmas Eve, not Christmas Day. Fair enough. Okay. Very cool. So far, we've had two donations for this money making game. Keep them coming in, my friends. Hey! Leah says, green, the color of money. And that's $1. Uh, that puts green as a top. Uh, no, $2 for green, $5 for blue. Green is the color of my true love affair. What? That's hard to maintain. Yeah. It's night time. <laughs> Ta da! <laughs> it really was that it easy took one. 30 seconds. This game is very changed. Oh man. Time of day. Dark Decay with 811 saying, gotta get on that blue cup hype train. That puts blue up quite high. And. Ninja Tiger says, with $5, here, take my money. That wasn't put towards a cup, but thank you for donating towards uh, Help Hope Live. Much appreciated, my friend. Oh, I cannot ascend. I'm not tall. You are not the chosen one. You cannot ascend. So, with the post-marathon <laughs> t-shirt, yes. as well as um, making our equipment better, does that also go towards next marathon fees and foods and stuff? Yes. I mean, it, it kind of goes <laughs> towards everything. The overall Zelda fund. Buy the shirts. Buy the shirts. Buy the shirts. Buy the shirts. And with Professor Snape, 
and donates five dollars and says, "Green like my house, Slytherin." Mr. Potter. <laughs> Mr. Potter. Our <laughs> new <Alan> celebrity. <laughs> Alan Rickman. So I was in a conversation with one of my friends last night, and we were like talking. And they were like, hey, you're not a fan of Professor Snape. You're a fan of Alan Rickman. I'm like, you're right. You found Guilty. me out. Guilty. <laughs> when will the Eddie Zolophon t-shirts be live? The December 27th. In four days. Um, oh my god. Notice how me and Liz shudder. We were scared. Your body's not ready. I'm... So, uh, I guess I can talk about how Zolophon, like setup is going. So, everything's pretty much set to go for Zolophon. Like, X-Split's ready. All the video equipment's ready. We have, all, like, pretty much everything prepared, except we just have to, like, pack it all up and get it to the hotel. And then after that, it's, like, just a few things here and there. The, the donation system works. Um, I guess there's a couple things that are still in the work by some of the, uh, by MCG Dev. And uh, one of our music teams is working on something, but it's gonna be crazy. So, do, do you have all of your files backed up on multiple hard drives? It's all in the cloud. Okay, good. Uh, so that was just my only thing. Is like we don't want something drastic to happen and lose the data. So, ye old cloud. Currently, green has seven dollars, <clears throat> red has zero dollars, and blue has thirteen dollars eleven cents, folks. So, in our money-making game, you still have a little bit of chance to do there. Are you guys in a new hotel this year, or am I remembering correctly? We're going to a Mars hotel. Yep, new hotel. Yep, courtesy of NASA. Courtesy of NASA. And we still have $600 and $615 to raise if you want to unlock um, Hyrule Warriors tonight. Woo! Do you have all, all of your hard drives? <laughs> all of your hard files drive up on multiple backs. Oh my god. Beast with a thousand backs. Million backs. Billion backs? Billion backs. Mm, billion backs, yeah. Drama. <laughs> Poor Red. Yeah, Red doesn't get any love. You can't <laughs> see it because of my shirt. There. All right, my friends. Why don't we get the questions? We can do questions a little bit early. Actually, we gotta do shouts real quick. I gotta yeah. press a button on my keyboard. Ready? Bam! Oh! oh! Shout outs to the Patreon page. Uh, I would recommend saving your money until after Zolophon to get in on this, but n nonetheless, recommend you all get on Patreon. It's uh, how we basically support doing Zolophon full time. Uh, you get a newsletter every week. Priority in asking questions. We have plenty of questions tonight, and all of the Patreon patrons have their questions elevated to the top of the list. Um, you'll be entered in to win our monthly contest, which is a couple weeks, like two weeks after Zolophon Hope. We're giving away a Zolophon Hope attendee prize package, a, a shirt, a water bottle, things that are usually Zolophon attendee only, uh, which you can kind of see if I press this button right here. Da 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 da! Alex it's, has it's his. It's pretty in blue. M mine's on the floor, so is Liz's somewhere. Yeah, mine's in front of me. And. Yours is over there. Uh, and you basically just help us keep the dream alive and keep doing Zolophon full time. It's a lot of work, and I hope that when you guys come and see Zolophon, on Sunday, you understand how much hard work went into it. It's going to be a pretty darn good marathon, I think. Um, but yeah, go ahead and do that, and we'll be, of course, thanking everybody who's a patron at the end of the show tonight. But let's get into questions, shall we? Um, why don't I... You know how to play this game from here. I do? Oh, yeah, yeah. You gotta get sorry a song eventually. Yep. In fact, you might have to do that first. I, I went the wrong way. Wait, okay, fine. We'll, we'll go back. All right, let's let's get into our questions, shall we? Questions. First up, Faranox asks. Oh my god, I can't talk. Faranox asks, "Will the Zolophon show continue after Zolophon Hope?" Yes. That was an easy one. Every Wednesday, it's gonna continue. On. Is this my water? Because I'm really thirsty. That is your water. It says MC on it, so I'm gonna drink it. You have to go all the way back to, yeah. <sighs> Lost Woods. <laughs> Faranox also asks, what zone do you think Ganon Trump is likely to attempt to wall off? <laughs> what? <laughs> Goron City? Yeah. Let's see. Ninja Tiger 77 asks, what is the biggest single donation you got at any Zelda Fawn? $25,000 from Scott Coffin? $25,000 from Scott Coffin. If you would like to beat it, be our guest. 
Beer. Ah, oh, milk. Frosty asks, <laughs> if you were, to, if any of you were to host a non-Zola gaming charity marathon, what franchise would you pick? Ooh, Rock Band. <laughs> rock Band? No, I don't know. <laughs> um, ooh, that's a good question. Liz, do you know Final Zola Fantasy? Game? Final Fantasy? Ooh, I mean that would go on forever. Forever. <laughs> That would take months. Um, that is a good question. Mario is definitely a safe, a safe bet. Yeah, or I, like I think, Metroid. I think, I think Mario would probably be ours. I don't uh, think I've ever heard of a Metroid marathon. Metroid would be fun. Like, I don't I'm think, a huge fan of the Prime series, so I would totally get on like Prime Two because that's my favorite one. I, I've seen Metroid marathons, but nothing like that's been like really super consistent. Sonic fun. Freaking Man. Black Mamba says, "I'm a snake, so green cup." Green Cup's now at nine dollars, I think. So Green Cup, you can still get in this with like a single five dollar donation. We could, we, you could do the Mario peripheral games, all the Mario parties, all the power, the tennis, the Mario Kart. But those don't have end goals. I mean, some of them have story modes, but uh, those would be so boring. The story it's modes. It's a party game stream for raising money. I suppose. So interesting Second challenges. You know, place. play tennis with your mouth. Like, what? have to hold the Wii controller in your mouth. That's a donation goal? I don't want to put somebody's Wii remote in my mouth. Yeah, Any people yeah, touch that? Play with your foot. Like, you have to touch the Wii That doesn't your make the, the, the Wii remote any more appetizing. No, just, uh, attach it to your foot. With the... Strap? Yeah. The, the strap. wrist strap. You, you looked at us like we're... I thought, I, thought you, I thought you figured it out, so I just stopped no, talking. No, we didn't. I went the wrong way. Yoshi Sonic asks... To everyone on the couch, what is one thing you're looking forward to on Christmas Day? Uh, opening my presents, because I know what they are. I'm just not allowed to have them until Christmas. Oh my gosh, do you know the way through the Lost Woods? I do. I forgot. Scorpius Malfoy says, with one dollar one cent, the, um, black cup? <laughs> Good try, Scorpius. Green's the darkest color, so we'll go green. Green, red, and blue. The, um, black cup? Crap. Um, so yeah, I'm most looking forward to on Christmas Day, so you're looking forward to opening up your presents. I have a present. I have, <laughs> I have a present for my boyfriend, and I don't know what it is, except it's supposed to be a sweatshirt. That's all I know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it is, but it's a sweatshirt. So. I, but it's, it has something on it, and I don't know what it has on it. And, and apparently it's Zelda, but that's all I know. It's, and I want it now, but I can't have it now. What about you, Liz? What are you looking forward to on Christmas Day? Um, it's my sweater, and I need it now. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> Oh, I'm looking forward to starting Christmas Day technically off with being here with the Hat House family, uh, and then waking up Christmas morning with the kids and actually getting to watch them open presents this year. Because uh, my mom was able to buy her presents this year, so getting to watch them open gifts is gonna be fun. Mm -hmm. And then everybody else is going to work. And I get to spend the evening alone, listening to Christmas carols while the kids play with their new stuff, and packing for Zeldathon. I'm, I'm excited. I'm hyped. You're excited for that? I am hyped to get to be alone and listen to Christmas carols and organize and pack. Because I was freaking out about when the crap I was going to pack. And now I have time. So that's pretty much uh, my plan starting tomorrow. I have to, like, pack so much. Like, it's going to be insane. Like, I'm going to be packing two days. I have to wash all of my clothes and, like, like while I'm at it, by the throwing all my linens. You know, I'm gonna wash my comforter. It's gonna, I'm gonna like, have a perfect bed for like the last night of here at the house. And then I'm just gonna leave my bed all made so when I come back from Zolophon, fresh, clean bed. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be like, it's gonna be like, thank you, past MC. I like you. I like you a lot. Good decision. Uh, Leah asks, Liz, are you gonna keep your hair pink? Yes. All right, there you go. Anonymous asks, Liz, do you plan on re your hair before Zeldathon? Yes, I am going to do the bleaching setup day night, so Saturday night, and then the pinking will be Sunday. The pinking. The pinking. The pinking and angry Zeldathon. Sunday the pinking. morning, so it'll be fresh and extremely vibrantly pink Wonderful. when the marathon begins. Uh, will we be seeing a return of the Fem Link cosplay for your run? Yes. Also known as... Not Linkle. Not Linkle. I don't Fem like Link. Fem Link. Fem, Fem Link it's to the a, Past. It is a cross-play A Link to the Past. However, I would like to mention that in all the official art, Link does not have pink hair. 
I know, but the pixel. I know the pixels. I like the pixel spray. I like the pink hair. I think it works well. But I'm just saying, as that being my favorite link. I know. He, he, he doesn't have pink hair. It's more of a funny thing because the sprighting is pink. <laughs> uh, so let's see, next question. And I altered the cosplay some too. Uh, we got we got Orma Shields coming in here, by the way. Orma Shields, already a Triforce level donor, over $1,000 donated to help Hope Live already. Orma Shields asks, Liz, how much Liz Rage can we hope to see this Zelda fawn? Uh, well, let's see. Knight of Hylia decided uh, that he wants to be Liz Rage within like the first 40 minutes of Zelda Ha! <laughs> so, I thought it was four hours. Four hours? Yeah. Something like that. Something with a four in it. So, <laughs> Some kind of four. Four right? seconds. Within the first day of Zelda Thon, probably quite soon after we get everything all chill and finish reading donations, we'll set a goal for slapping through well, a Liz Raging Knight of Hylia. All right, well that's good. And other than that, do we expect to do any more Liz Rage? I don't know. I'm gonna have to put so many more names to faces this marathon. I know you don't like. You don't like the Liz Rage, do you? Not really. So we'll, we'll probably be holding it back. We'll save the slaps for other people. By the way, it's 10 o'clock. I'm gonna give you guys one last chance. I need to blue, red, or green cup and see what we can get here. Uh, so let's see. Chica Zelda asked, "Has everyone paid their attendance fees?" Uh, not everyone. There's like three people who haven't yet. So I was in the last one. Ha! You were not the last one to pay your attendance fee. How's Good. It, how does that make you feel? Okay, I guess. All right. Programming just says, you mentioned earlier that there might be a Zelda show during Zelda Is that still a thing? Uh, I decided against it. Yeah. It's it, the, silly idea. The Zelda show is Zelda so. Yeah. And plus, I probably wouldn't be there. Yeah. I don't. I don't know how it all lines up. Like I will be uh, on Mars on the second, but I won't be at the marathon. I have other things to do with secret filming for things. Okie dokie. Secret filming for things? Yes. Nothing to do. Program Ninja also asks, Tem C, would you rather have bake or Tofu 79 or Bacon 78 win? Oh, so would I rather have Tofu 79 or Bacon 78, the incorrect bacon win? I guess I, I would technically have, want the incorrect bacon to win, but I would want Bacon 79 to win over all those. Um, now, uh, Program Ninja also asks, if uh, two file names are very similar, oh, for, exa for example, crap. the whales and the whales without a space, um, will they be combined? And the answer is no. Just make sure you select it from the list properly now. Now that we have the list, there shouldn't be any issues with that. Wait, you can get to Death Mountain from uh, Lost Woods, right? Yes. Yes. Oh, um, screw my dome. Actually, no, you can't. So I have to go. Yeah, because you have to. You have to. Um, Mido is still there, and I don't know the skip. Oh, I'll, I'll get. Wait, no, he should. He should be aside now, right? Nope. Uh, I'll get rid of him. You do questions. Woo. Um. Pretty. And by the way, we just had that ten dollars from. Imaginary Bright, which was green, which means that is our final donation for green. Uh, so, find out, what what do we have in green? Actually, wait, hold on! No. Hold on. Red Cup from Malte with $25 says, because it's Christmas and Santa asked me to, thank you for $25. That's wheel spin. That is going to be another wheel spin, but first, let's, uh... Alright, so... And last place what? was blue. Last place is blue, are we confirmed with that? Yep. Okay. So Blue Cup had one dollar. Which was the lowest amount, if you haven't figured that one out already. Oh. If you chose Blue Cup, you were very wrong. And then I guess inside first place is Red with... Is Red in... Wait, hold on! Carzon with 25 saying Liz's choice for Cup. My choice is green. Your choice is green? Yes. Do you know what's in it? No. Okay, then Liz changes it to green. So the second place goes to Red with... Just because I grabbed red next. Red had five dollars. Oh. Which means for the win, the green cup is ten dollars. Ten dollars. Money making game. Money making, making game. game. And wheel spin. And okay. a wheel spin. I will uh, donate that ten dollars from my own personal monies later. Um, unless somebody else wants to do it like Steve is. <laughs> if you want to be a money making game person. Sorry, I'm sick. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. I love donating charity. And it's... Oh, we had two wheel spins, actually, yeah. 
Uh, give it another spin. It was esports commentary. Hi. Hi. Memes. Um, cheerleader for donor. Cheerleader for donor. That means we need the pom poms, which are up in the attic. Huh. We're not ready for Zolva. We're gonna go again. Actually, you know, we'll do cheerleader for donor, but we'll just do it without pom poms. Uh, okay, yes, yeah, so we can do this one. Hey, yeah, yeah, chorus. All right, here we go. In three, two, one, and I said, Hey, yeah, 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 hey, yeah, yeah. I said, Hey, <laughs> what's going on? What's that noise, man? Do you he makes like a bunch of weird noises throughout the song, doesn't he? Like just the weird inhales he does. I don't know. I never heard you go. <laughs> that was strange. I just uh, went with it. I was feeling it. So I was feeling it. I'm really feeling it. Back to questions. Uh, we actually have donations up the wazoo. We had ten dollars for money for a money making game. From so we got ten dollars for money making game, and our ten from TV says for the money making game. So we had multiple people throw in 10, so. There you go. Thank you. It became 20, just like that. Ta-da! love you. Thank you, you very much. You win at money-making games. Thank you, you doubled your maximum money. There you go. Double your money. Double your pleasure. Double down. Oh, I'm so bad at the skip. Lee Light asks, what are your expectations for this upcoming Zelda-thon? Betterer. <laughs> it's going to be a fun marathon. I don't know about how much it's going to raise. I hope it raises at least $150,000 for Help Hope Live. So we can play all games and have all goals unlocked. If it doesn't, then whatever. That's sad. Um, but hopefully we do, because that's what it's all about, is playing the entire Legend of Zelda series. Yep. Man, this guy is being difficult. Play games, mm -hmm. raise money for charity. Lee Light also asks, what is your Christmas wish for this year? It's all fun to go well. <laughs> it's really that easy. I'm just going to go do day two tricks. I'm tired of this. I haven't really thought about that. I could wish a Christmas wish. Uh, it would be to get a better time in length, but I think we will not have any of that. <laughs> your, your time length to pass is going to be fine. I know it will be. It's fine. I had a couple days to practice the theory if the children don't, you know, rip my legs off or something. Frosty, submit it. Oh, by the way, Mido's not actually here. He's on the other side. Or no, who's the other side? Who's that, that's just like a, like some kid, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know him personally, we never hung out. Next we question. Catherine asks, describe your perfect pizza. <gasps> Ooh. Pepperoni, extra cheese, extra sauce from Damino's. Gonna actually, go. actually. 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 Hold on, she's actually -ing. I had a dream last night. <laughs> I was dreaming uh, about... <laughs> the Mill Creek Mall back when I was a kid, oh, and boy. I don't know if you remember Pizza Boy that used to be up in the Mill Creek Mall. Oh <gasps> my god, I remember the name, oh. but I don't think I ever had it. Pizza Boy had the best pizza I've ever had, and I've never had anything else like it anywhere else, and mm. it is in my memory. It's in my heart forever. I, I'm gonna go Pizza Hut from like eight years ago, before they changed like, all the It's a time travel to get your perfect pizza? Old school Pizza Hut with Mushrooms and green peppers, it's like their their regular house pizza with mushrooms and green peppers, because that pizza was amazing, and they kind of changed the recipe a little bit and added all this other crap onto the pizza crust and everything. It's not as good anymore. Mm -hmm. Crap on the crust. Yeah. For me, I guess I could probably answer this. I like barbecue. Yeah, I was gonna say barbecue, chicken. What else? Is that it? I mean, I, I don't mind pineapple. Pi yeah, that's right. You get pineapple every now and then. Yeah. I just, like, I just like barbecue pizza, so give me some yeah, barbecue, barbecue pizza. pizza from Domino's is pretty damn good. Oh, uh, we, we had Voldemort come in with... I'm sorry. <laughs> we had he who must not be named come in with a dollar one and say, I'm on, I'm gonna... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Voldy. Catherine asks, yeah. I only ask food yeah. questions, lol. What are your best toppings for a baked potato? You're making me hungry. Okay, <laughs> I, I ate at like 3.30, so I'm hungry. Oh, I haven't eaten in three days. Uh, best toppings for a baked potato: sour cream, chives, cheddar cheese, and bacon so bits. White. 
Sorry. Not bacon bits. The soy powder bako bits. The crunchy ones. I like those better. Pretend bacon bits. They're fake faking bits. Bacon bits full of lies. Well, they're called bako bits. They're not bacon. They're bako. Mm. That's okay. Bacon bits aren't real bacon either. either. Yeah, bako bits are made out of soy. Soy. So they're actually vegan, technically. <laughs> Which I find hilarious. Uh. Baked potato. Go. Butter, sour cream, cheddar cheese. Yeah, I'm with, I'm with Liz. I forgot butter. How did I forget butter? Butter, sour Simple cream, and cream, a little bit of cheese. Simple and clean. Shout outs to uh, Kingdom Hearts. Catherine also asks, what is your favorite Christmas slash holiday slash winter song? Song? Yeah, uh, your favorite I, like holiday song. Ooh. Uh, Falling Back by Darn <laughs> <laughs> It reminds me of Zelda. There's Home. there's a song that we learned in Chamber Singers in high school. We never got to sing it, but it was called All the World is Winter. And it's probably the prettiest, most haunting song I've ever heard. Mm -hmm. It's all the harmonies in it, all the dissonance in it. And the co chorus concert I went to a couple years ago, they sang it in the Chamber Singers. And I got to sit in the crowd and just listen to it. And it was yeah. awesome. But that is probably my favorite like holiday song, winter song of all time. And there's only like two recordings of it on YouTube, and only one of them is decent. Mine is Oh Holy Night. Yeah, but Cheap knows exactly what I'm talking about. I sing it every now and then, but I don't know all of it. But the parts I do remember, I sing, and it's a very beautiful song. You know exactly what I'm talking about. I forgot Cheap was in chorus with me. Next question. Catherine also, also asks, <laughs> Liz, does my hair look like literal mermaid hair? Yes. All right. I can I can probably second that. It, it resembled my right here. So. When did you see her? Did you see her for a week? Uh, oh, since it was dyed. Oh, I've yes. not seen it since it was dyed. She got her hair Before re that, it, today. it had. So okay, as advertised, it. folks, if we reach ten thousand dollars before Zelophon, uh, before before the twenty second, Catherine would dye her hair purple for Zelophon Hope. And it was the twentieth. It happened. It happened. There was a three thousand dollar donation. Yeah, I saw that. And that was just mind blowing. By our friend Cashel is their name. Deep Thinker asks everybody if you could have any job besides playing video games and were played or, and were paid for it, what would it be? Doing Zelda phone. I don't actually play video games there. Oh yes, I do. What about you, Liz? Zelda phone and like the cost of actually being a mom. Like, like getting paid to be mom. Getting paid to be That'd mom. That'd be cool. I mean, I'm a stay-at-home mom and I homeschool with cyber school. One of my kids is on the autism spectrum. The other two are very difficult. <laughs> <laughs> I I would have to say it's a toss-up between either being a touring or studio musician. Uh, I've always kind of had dreams since I started playing music that, like, dreams of just playing on the stage and being on the road. But the other part of me is like, that's not really viable, as most bands I listen to only make, like, ten grand a year per member. Mm -hmm. And they're like, you know, the ones that are signed have like five CDs out. They make almost no money, and it's ridiculous. Uh, and the other thought is a studio musician. You know, I sit and record all day. It's pretty much what I do anyway, only I get paid to do it. In a professional studio, I would totally be down for that. Actually, that doesn't sound bad. Goodbye, world! But yes, Catherine's hair is freaking glorious. She had to have it redone today, because yesterday it didn't take. Um... But oh my gosh, it's very, very pretty purple. It's very, very pretty purple. Literal mermaid hair. I'm Fair excited. Uh, by the way, Jiggy11 donates five dollars, saying bread here, donating for Jiggy11. Oh well, thank you for yeah. donating for Jiggy. Uh, and by the way, we are like five hundred and twenty some dollars away from unlocking Hyrule Warriors. So any is want to like throw some quick cash down, five dollars, twenty five, you know, th five thousand, whichever you prefer. <laughs> you know, go for it and see if we can get this unlocked. Also, somebody earlier commented on my shirt, you know, noticing the band. Um, if you listen to the band, uh, the bass player actually was my teacher before he joined Scale the Summit, Mark Michel. He used to be my bass teacher. Very, very talented musician. The guy's amazing. Ow. Anywho, next question. Sheik is Zelda asks, how hype are you for Zelda U? Yeah, I mean, it's a Zelda game, so I'll, I'll, be, I'll be excited. So I've like, always loved uh, free roam games, so uh, one being on a massive scale, like how Zelda U is supposedly going to be, is very, very enticing for me. Out of the style? Yes. 
Shadow big Colossus world. Is Shadow kind of Colossus is such a good game. My biggest concern with it is like, who cares if it has an open world if it's not an interesting open world? Oh, it will be. It's Zelda. I look mean, look at all oh. that grass. Look at all that grass. <laughs> right, Hyrule from Twilight Princess was very pretty. It just didn't have a lot to do in it. It was just like there was bugs to collect. Enjoy your enjoy your game, I guess. And that's how it felt to me. And I was like, it's such a big world, but there's nothing really to do in it. So hopefully, there's more like events and things that happen all around there. Freaking Black Mamba asks. I got a Freaking Black Mamba. Has the deluxe feature of Couch Dance Party been fixed? Yes, I bought new uh, lights. <laughs> We've upgraded the Couch Dance Party Deluxe version. We ne we will now have the, the Couch Dance Party return for us. Uh, the lights are unopened inside a box, hence. Orange Couch is going to Zelda Fun, right? Orange Couch is going to Zelda Fun, right? Okay. It, it will make its return for its second Zelda Fun. Isn't that exciting? Freaking Black Mamba also asks Will Shoot 631 be returning as a donation sound this marathon? Yes. Indeed! It will be the same uh, sound as well, which will be the only way to hear it. I think I donated for that like four times last marathon. Why do people like that so much? I mean, it's cheap and you get to hear his name being shouted, so. <laughs> I like the double seven. That's dead. Well, so I, I've been working on getting new Cedar Sounds in, and some of them are pretty darn good. Uh, I oh, hope to hear them. A lot of them are returnees from my, my personal donation system, but we have some ones that are brand new just for Zolophon. Link, okay, what, awesome. are you, what are you doing, Linking? Or Link, look what he's doing. He's just like rolling while talking to this. <laughs> Freeze frame. Red light. <laughs> he's, when this when this is finished, he's just gonna like roll right into him. I'm excited. Here we go. Oh, oh Link's like rolling. Heart. No. Oh. Oh. <laughs> he stands up. Headstand. <laughs> yeah. Zizzy B asks if Z if Nintendo were re to were to remaster another Zelda game in the style of Master oh. Quest, what would it be and why? I hope they don't remaster another Zelda game. I'm just looking forward to more Zelda games. Like no Master Quest, like like oh, okay. like, uh, like where they cool. add like new dungeon like puzzles and stuff. Like Jor's mask, obviously. Uh, I don't know. I can go for Wind Waker. Ah, yeah. uh, darn it! But they already have. Oh, I mean, yeah, that, both of those would be out of the running anyway. What? They both already had remakes. Hello, Division. What? Gomez Eye. Oh yeah, it has like that weird uh, division sign. Deep Thought asks. <laughs> I just like that name. Everybody, if you were president, what would be the first thing you would do? Probably take a selfie and post it on Twitter. Remove Trump 2016 from the file name system. Haha, <laughs> get wrecked. Because I would have been made president. Anarchy! No, I, I would probably, you know, pitch myself because I'm not actually president and I'm probably asleep and could in a nightmare. Yeah, I don't want to be president. I don't like politics. Could I like take the the salary, what? the 300000 or whatever it is? It's 450000 Could I, I take that and just like leave? <laughs> like, it, was, it was a great Bye. job being president. Having... See ya. I'm going to take this $450,000 and go do Zelfon. Peace. <laughs> Build a wall with Canada because irony. Yeah. <laughs> I like Canada. Canada's good people. Toadsburg asks, how long do you have to travel to Zeldathon? I don't want to give that answer. It takes... How long does it take to get to Mars? Okay, you, you can answer that. It depends on the time of year. So this time of year, I think it's about eight months. Yes. So we're actually on the road now. We're in our shuttle, and it's... I mean, it's really we, we spacious. Atta we attach the studio to a shuttle. Yeah. I think it's I think it's about eight months. I could be wrong on that. Right. Actually, I, I can I can answer this. It's like about forty minutes away from here. Yeah. But that that's... Zelda thought at the White House. <laughs> Dude, we just do Zelda thought from the Oval Office. Dude, on the lawn. On the uh, now. Nah. Project your screen. I want to do I want to do it from the Oval Office. Project it on the White House. And then we can steal like the diary from inside the president's desk. <laughs> And then we go on all national treasure. Then we go right? find the Declaration of Independence. Uh, it's awesome. I can't wait. So awesome. By the way, yeah. yes. It'll be awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Bushel asks, what is your favorite Disney VHS, Liz? Ooh. Um, give me a moment. So thought West Wing. <laughs> Zelda in space! 
I think I would, uh, mine would have to be to uh, Toy Story. Does that count? Have you gone back and watched the original? Yeah. The animation's so weird now. Yeah, right? But you back then you're like, this is awesome! And now you like watch the third one and go back and you're like, wow, this is kind of janky. <laughs> what up, Mendez? Yeah, I can't wait to see the Super Guitar Bros. I'm super excited to see the Super Guitar Bros. Either, you guys are awesome. Either Robin Hood or Aladdin. Aladdin's pretty funny. One jump. Uh, Aladdin is my favorite movie, so I'm going to go with Aladdin. I knew Catherine would say Aristocats. Borschel also asks, what is your favorite variety of fondue? Your options are cheese, chocolate, and super Kool-Aid. Chocolate. Chocolate. Wait, fondue? Yeah. Fondue. Chocolate. Duh. That was an easy question. Bush, uh, yeah. Uh, Dark Decay asks, MC, are you prepared for the second shipment of OC Black Market Amiibo? I didn't, get, I, didn't, I didn't get any Amiibo, so OC's coming over last marathon. He brought like a freaking ton of uh, Amiibo that are very like pleasant. 40 or 50 Amiibo? Like, yeah. Wasn't it just a tub full of Amiibo? Basically, yes. I and remember, yeah. So the answer is, I'm not that excited because I'm not getting any from it. I I'm actually behind on Amiibo now, but I'm saving my funds to after Zelda Bond to buy them. I don't have a Wii U, but I would totally not turn down a Mega Man Amiibo. I'm just saying. I actually have one for sale. What? I have one for sale. It's How unopened. Much? How much? Twelve ninety nine. That's it. Amiibo. I may get back to you on that. I don't have enough in my bank account right now. Well, I'm br I'm, br so. I'm bringing them to Zelda-Fon, and if it sells before then, I'm sorry. Can I reserve it? Can I reserve it? Do I look like GameStop, where you can buy and sell used games? No. I don't do pre-orders. Jiggy asks, "What superpower would you have if you could have any superpower and stuff?" In, in stuff. But if you have one of... superpower? Yeah. If you got any superpower, what would you have? Do you know what superpower you would have? No, about it. I don't know. That's a good. That's a good question. I, I have an answer for this. All right, go for it. Oh, a bit of a kind of a side note. When when I'm at work, when I get really bored while um, making people's food, before I give them the food, I make them answer a question. Just if they if it looks like they're having a bad day, and like you know, if you were a pirate, you know, what would you name your ship? Or if you're a superpower, what would it be, you know? Yeah. Um, so, uh, the, I asked super high question, and they always, you know, oh, okay, you know, what was yours? My answer has always been pyrokinesis, or, you know, the ability to control fire, or possibly create fire. Okay. Because I could have, you know, multiple uses. A firebender. Yeah, you know, flight, um, providing heat, and uh, a way to cook food, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, energy source. Uh, I mean, there's there's a number of different uses for it, so... And plus, I mean, freaking fire, so... What would you like to have, you know, a flame for? That'd be awesome. Ooh, man! 2632 from Mike Smith saying, Let's get that final $500. I think that Woo! means we're exactly $500 away. Mm. And that is a spin of the goal wheel. Yeah. And as for my superpower, I don't know, man. I I'll fly. Fly doesn't sound cool. Would it be, though? Or would you just be like, ah? No, I think it would be great. Okay, fair enough. I, I, I'm not... I'm, totally I'm not barely good. flightful. I'm fully flightful. Yeah. Uh, that Ben Bailey shout out. And then Night Sura for 14 months. By the way, I recently learned your name is Night Sura, not Nit Sura. And so uh, it, 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 with the pending uh, Zolophon coming up and you're going to be there, I, I've learned that your name is Night Sura. So there you go. Oh, there you go. Mendez12 asks, what is your favorite Zelda game? I like to the past! The Wind Waker! Majora's Mask! <laughs> it's funny because we're playing all those games at Zelda Club. There you go, that was easy. Oh, but yes, guys! My cold, dead body. Uh, <laughs> 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 okay, it's actually funny, the Super Guitar Bros, they're all excited about coming to Zelda. I'm like, do you guys need anybody to play any games? I mean, I love A Link to the Past. I could do A Link to the Past in my sleep. I was like, I'm sorry. <laughs> no. Blizzard gods. But! They haven't ever, uh, they're really good apparently at Zola 2, and Snarfy is working on his first time playthrough at, at his parents' so house. Backups. So, they will be there as backup. So we have some backup players for that. Um, but no guys, we are now $500 away from unlocking Hyrule Warriors at Zoltafon Hope. This is going to be a print of the last Zoltafon team stream probably until the marathon begins. And so if we can get that before, like, countdown stream begins, that would be... Very awesome. It, it would be pretty sweet, not gonna lie. Also, you never answered your superpower. Probably invisibility. 
so I could run away and hide. Yeah. Fair enough. Where's Marley? <laughs> you always find me. Oh, dude, invisibility would be great. I would just like. It's okay, you want to know my first thought about invisibility? And I'm sorry I'm about this. I'd be like, man, what if like stream had issues and I could just walk in a stream room naked? Nobody would know I'd be there and fix it. <laughs> Life goals. <laughs> <laughs> see, I'd lurk and see if people say things about me because I'm currently. <laughs> My on screen raise total is broken. Um. Oh no. <laughs> it oh. is. Uh. Hashtag blame ortho. <laughs> ortho. Sheikah Zelda asks, what is your favorite meme related to Zelda? Ooh. Well, there's $500 for more shields. <laughs> well, there it is. Holy crap. Hot diggity dog. So hyped for the 27th. Also, Never Bacon 79 for the Wind Waker. There you go, yeah. people. Hey. Get trumped. Oh, oh, oh shots fired. Down with the white, down with nice. And that is $13,000, which means... Game two unlocked. <laughs> Game unlocked. I wish Goal I... achieved. Goal achieved. Everybody, as celebration, I think it's time for a tease. Ooh. I'm going to... Oh, God, you're making my head hurt. Navigate the file system here. Oh, boy. Don't look. And... Also, we still have to do a spin. Well, two spins oh, yeah, we now. Still... We have two spins now. We have five minutes. Everybody, are you ready for this? Here we go. There we go. Nice. Game Perfect. unlock. That is the new game unlock sound from our new Zeldafon announcer, folks. Yay. That was nice. Yeah. I like that. And so a wall of bless. And a wall of bless. Bushel, don't please don't get a uh, global. All right. Yeah. Favorite Zelda meme. Dude, Bushel's about to get global by Twitch. No oh boy. Bushel, I, I can't bail you out of this one just because Twitch is helping us at the marathon doesn't mean I'm gonna bail you out. No ZQ, don't do it. Dude, oh my god. Y'all get a global up in this! Is this the example we want to set for our children? Alright, we have just enough time for another goal spin and we gotta do our... We got two to spin, dude. Two spins? Two spins to go. Oh boy, right. uh, I'm probably a dollar one from Tom Veldro with sign I cannot read. It's in another language. Pretty sure that is Japanese. No. No. I don't know what that says, but thank you. Epic pose in three, two, one. And another spin. <laughs> Hope you took your screenshots. It'll be on YouTube soon. Don't worry. I'm slumped. You totally moved it. It was hat stacked, but all the hats are upstairs. Give it another spin. This one's for the five hundred. Oh, look, another spin. <laughs> I'm so sorry, folks. There, there, there's a lot of the Zolophon stuff is packed. <laughs> yeah, how about this? <laughs> Let's just cheerleader for Orma Shields. Let's just get it over with. All right. <laughs> All right. Orma Shields! Orma Shields! Yeah! Uh, you... give, uh, couch, give me a... B! B! Give me an L! Oh! L. Give me an E! E! e. Give me an S. S! S! Give me an R S! S! Put it all together, what does it smell? Bless! Thanks, Armor Shields. <laughs> Rigged. And cars on because we didn't do that one. Oh, and yeah. Car oh, yeah. And give me a K! K! And give me an R's on! R's on! And what does that spell? I don't know! I can't read! <laughs> and by the way, we had. Bless donate a dollar and say bless, 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 bless. And Donald J. Trump donate one dollar saying, Hello, members of the Zelda Fun team. As an official representative of the Donald J. Trump Foundation Organization, LLC, I don't think he'd have an LLC. I think it'd be a little... Anyway. I speak on behalf of the United States of America that the Donald J. Trump Foundation must triumph in the final name selection for the Wind Waker. Thank you. 
<laughs> Thank you, Donald J. Trump. Oh boy. That was uh, an interesting right. thing. Yeah. Uh, ah! Uh, Hold on, guys. Uh, 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 hey. <laughs> It'll be a year in January. What? It'll be a year in January since I broke my tailbone. You broke your tailbone? You didn't know that? No. That's why. And why does that have to do with ah? Uh, because I was. Ah, uh, because I was. Moving. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, what does this have to do with that? Uh, 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 hold on, uh, Alex. I gotta do something real quick. Uh, how do you play the. Uh... Down, no. Down, right, left, down, right, left. There we go. <laughs> did I seriously have to teach you how to do. I, yes, you did. Okay. Anyway, wow. let's give some thanks over to our patrons, our supporters. Uh, starting off with Dalton H., who was uh, new this month, and Farinox and Icy Oshawatz. Video James, Henry C, Michael N, Carzon, Riking, OC1, Organics, and Torpy, Bebas, TMH, Brad, Mika, Fire Notes for Atu, and Abra, Saboteur Sam, Zen, Todd V, Xavier Penguin, Sora 107, Mike's Nemesis, Grant B, and Matt A, Monica M, and I call it Dinner Bone Yari, and Dolly Bob! Dolly Bob! Yeah! Yahoo! You, all of these people are amazing. Very good. All the people in front of us. By the way, Tom Veldro donated another dollar one saying, You don't speak or read parcel tongue? Sorry. No, so I'm a Hufflepuff. <laughs> no, wait, no, I'm a Ravenclaw. Not are a you a Ravenclaw? Yeah, actually, I am. Oh, well, very, very good. I tested into Ravenclaw, and I was not disappointed. I tested so. into Ravenclaw. <laughs> I was sorted into Ravenclaw. There you go. My face with Donald J. Trump will be on the Zolophon crystal. Hey, little man, thank you for out of the resub. Welcome back, my friend. Uh, but you caught us at the tail end of the show. Uh, we're about to get a a freaking bracelet here inside the game, and then we'll end off. G give me the bracelet. Uh, <laughs> but I guess we can give some quick thanks. Yeah. Uh, thanks to Lizardy for being on the show tonight, for sharing some of your inside knowledge on how Zolophon operates, and the insides of what we eat. <laughs> the insides of what we eat. The insides of stuff. us. I kick, kick food. I kick food. <laughs> you you kick don't the food. kick the food. We need to eat it. <laughs> Here we go. I got my bracelet. Now I'm super stylish. Fabulous. Fabulous. Oh. And and uh, 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 Alex, thank you for being on the show. Of course. Thank always. You. Thank you for being a great Almost co host. Almost always. So this is the last Zolophon show uh, until after Zolophon. Of this year. Yep. So our next show will be. The Wednesday after the conclusion of Zolophon Hope. Um, thank you all for watching the show. Uh, I feel like next show we're going to have a lot more viewers. Yeah. Uh, there's a small theory that states that in my head. So uh, to everybody who came here before we started, uh, and like the, the, big, the, big, the big influx of people, thank you. And uh, I hope to see all of you back in we'll the new year. Yeah, we'll see you in uh, Zolophon and we'll see you next year. Yep, see you at Zolophon Hope. Let's raise 150k, and thank you for the donations tonight. Much love, everybody, and peace out. There will be no more viewing tonight.